uh, drop in the in the bitrate I hope there is no effect on the live stream I really hate this thing when uh, there is a fall in the bitrate I can just copy this RGB color hoping it works uh, or not it will not work Well, maybe maybe this color will be much better yeah this color is much better We just need a hex code only. Uh, there's a uh, thing, this thing called uh, theme. Like I don't know, like what, it, what, like what it does. and we have author name we can also add that okay i think i should go by the pattern name i mean the okay so we got preview set the extension to be flag as present yeah so currently it should be in preview because we are because we have just created a basic extension where it's not uh, that much at higher level you can say uh, main entry point i think the entry point is there is extension.js yeah there is an entry point uh, activation extension there was okay so there is a yeah, here it is uh, badges uh, Array of approved badges to display in the sidebar and um, extension each badge. Okay, yeah. What, it, like, what does it mean? Approved badges. What else do we have? Markdown string control the markdown running. You can use the we, do, we don't need that. QA control the QA link in the uh, set level default. It can be default. Okay, extension pack and array with the IDs. An extension bundle with this extension. These are the three. Okay, you mean the dependent extension? Okay, the extension which is dependent to other so I don't think so we need uh, currently we have any dependent extension right now which we are using so I'll just pass that uh, script uh, exactly the same npm script uh, but the extra VS code specifically uh, regarding that I'm not sure I think there is a script already over here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. I 
and lastly the icon okay yeah, these are two badges yeah I can add these badges later on Yeah, we need these things repository bugs uh, I will be using uh, GitLab for this one Let me uh, create a quick repository. Uh, okay, we have added the license here. Yeah. We don't have an extension pack. Okay, so we need to create the icon now. First of all, I need to also create the GitLab repository. Let's log into the GitLab account. Okay, we are logged in. Now I need to create a new repository. It will make a log VS Code. will be public okay so we have created the repository Okay. 
let me update the email address i think there is an option wait a second so inside the gitlab uh, we have a functionality where we can create an email address uh, where user can uh, email to that email address and report a bug directly to that email address and it will create a gitlab issue from that email i mean from that email the user will send so it's really awesome uh, I, like, I don't think so that it is uh, like available in my plan or not well, just hoping so it is okay so it, so it is available nice Nice, nice, nice. Well, <laughs> that doesn't look, look like an email to me. This is a really long email address. Okay, it can work. I mean, uh, it doesn't that it, it is not that bad that we are you know able to use an email address to create an issue. Yeah, it works. Okay, now let me create an icon for this. Let me grab this one. Okay. Let me just check like how should I add the icon? Okay, image is icon or page. Okay, so I can just uh, quickly drop the icon. Like I don't have to add different uh, icon size. Yeah, that's fine. Let me get the color. As they have said uh, we need to make sure that we uh, create an icon specific to the size required let me create this directory over here images okay now I just need to uh, drop that icon over there um, okay yeah we don't need anything else from here yeah we need uh, now a VS code logo where I can find the VS code logo I have a solid, solid feeling that uh, there will be another power outage. I don't want that to happen. From where I can download the icon? Uh, I forgot to get those dimensions. I think it was 256. I'm not sure now.
download VS Code logo. So by the way guys, do you know from where I can get the VS Code logo itself? Or I don't, maybe I don't want that also. I can just use this simple maker logo. Yeah, I can use this one also. Yeah, who needs that? Okay, we have got the icon now. Uh, it should work. Yeah, I think everything is done now. Now just now the final part is left to publish the extension. Let me see on their official website. Like, there must be some kind of a way to publish it. Of course, we do need to create an account. So, by the way, I do have an account for the for the Microsoft account. Please don't tell me to log in. Please don't tell me to log in. No, no, no. Uh, by the way, I also need to make another to do that we are building. That I mean, we have built a build a maker log. VS Code extension, and then I will paste the link over here. Uh, and I also need to commit the changes but there are not uh, really changes any okay we got everything right let me see yeah you check that I forgot that part uh, it was okay I can look over here I just need to see that uh, that we need to do the test folder or not basically from here pub uh, name of the publisher So the name of the publisher will be code carriage. No problem. Yeah, I think we don't need that part here. Let me check the VS Code Ignore.
I will also check the git ignore. Okay, so like where is this? Like, do I need to delete this part? Okay, now just commit the changes. Okay, so we have committed the changes now. Let me add the remote repository. Now we got maker log. Oh, it is not responding. Okay, maker log. Let me get the uh, icon for the code carrot. Uh, so it should be 128 by 128. Uh, I think I do have an, I do have an icon for that. Uh, this can work. Okay, we need a repository link to the repository and we also need a Twitter we also need the LinkedIn account By the way, you can also follow me on Twitter. And don't forget to join our Discord community. Uh, in our Discord community, we have awesome fun. Uh, maybe we are playing games or maybe we are doing some coding stuff or designing or anything stuff. Anything. We uh, do have a lot of fun. So you should join the Discord. Okay, let me add a brief description about the publisher. I also need to add the remote URL. Get remote coach. Okay, so we don't have any remote URL yet. Okay, nice. Now we can push the code to the GitLab and now you, got, you can guys check the code over here uh, you can submit pull request you can contribute to the uh, to the extension Okay, let me get the description. Okay, I got the description. Let's quickly get started with this. The code must be online now. Yeah, the code is available over here. Nice. Why it is uh, 
I mean by the pipeline has been uh, initialized. Change this. Like I haven't added any kind of a, a get uh, GitLab CI. So why it is running now? Oh, oh, it is possible that it might have auto enabled. Yeah. Okay, so we need to generate the VXIX file. VSCE so CLI tool for managing extension registry. Have we done that? Okay, we have that yeah okay yeah we also have that kind of publisher I don't want to publish with using the okay so I think only this is the way to do it install okay we can do that so if we don't have any other option let's do this okay so it is automatically running all the code quality code scanner all the stuff that's nice I can I can also add a avatar over here I should add since I have already uh, downloaded that icon for the VS code I can use the same one over here okay so it will take a time to install no I don't okay okay so I can open that later on You change the name to Maker Law VS Code Extension. Okay, project description. I don't I don't know make a log uh, we have the extension on the desktop it is make a log images okay let's save these changes first of all and then we can add the description later okay so the package has been installed that's nice so what's the procedure of publishing it? Okay, you, say, you can use the easily package and publisher extension. That's nice. 
generate okay so it should generate uh, the file which is ultimately used uh, for installing all the packages for the first time i will not publish from that from this uh, uh, cli i will just drag and drop the file itself a vs v, vs code extension to log your daily work on maker log that's a simple and nice description okay so the project details have been updated i will add the badge later on what was the okay so it has been generated okay here is the maker log i am very really excited okay let's drag and drop upload that's it okay so i think it is very fine By the way, how can I access this extension? Or I think they, uh, the team, uh, the VS Code team or the team who manages this marketplace will verify this extension and then, yeah. Or maybe they can, they might be using some kind of a CI CL tool just to verify it. Just hoping that they might appro they approve my extension because this is my first extension and I don't want them to deny it. Let me search on the marketplace because it is publicly available over here. It is showing public. Recently, I did. Wow. So you guys, you should now download my extension and use it. You should use it right now. Here's the link. You should uh, just 
open this page and just quickly download the extension and don't forget to give ratings yeah and don't mind just maybe give a five star rating or you know what just leave that okay just download the extension and just use it okay yeah and we have just verified it yeah thank you microsoft okay now um, extension maybe now it might be available over here also in the marketplace maker log wow it is guys right there i will be the first one to install it okay Wow, the extension is there, man. Let me just quickly just give a shout out. Uh, build a build maker log extension extension for VS Code. And the link. Yeah. Why it is not showing the icon over here? okay because it's of same color now that's bad that's really bad i haven't thought of that I can use this color. Uh, I mean, uh, it gives a good variation for this website. Okay, so background color is three six three six three six. I hope no one saw that error. Okay, so we'll we'll just assume that no one saw that error. I'll just quickly fix that. But the cool part is that I have my extension is installed on my machine. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Okay, so I have updated the. Let me quickly build the extension again. I hope it, it doesn't increment the uh, the version number because it was just a minor fix.
okay so i have updated my extension and it should also update the the gallery banner color perfect 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 well that was just a minor fix so it doesn't need any that much recognition okay so i can just take a screenshot of this take a screenshot from here I can just take a screenshot of this part only What happened to the badge? Because I want to show the number of downloads Okay, here it is. Uh, Visual Studio. Yeah, uh, here it is. We just need an extension ID. Do we have extension ID or we have an extension name? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so it, it works ultimately, yeah. Yes, we have added that badge. So, okay, let's share on Twitter. Build a VS Code extension for Maker Log. Okay guys, so let's see what we should be doing. build a code extension for that maker log. I can also add mention uh, the owner of the, the maker log. What was his name? Let me see like what was his name. I need to check it. Let me up. Uh, add the image, the screenshot I took. Uh, where it is? 
okay i hope it gives uh, some kind of a good effect yeah it looks good okay i'll add mention uh, okay so his name is uh, sergio matty okay sergio matty yeah okay i'll paste the link Uh, I can uh, add mention few other people also. Like I am building this. Uh, is it, I, I have built built this extension live on the live stream. Uh, yeah, I can add mention ship stream uh, because uh, it's a kind of a, you know I am shipping a product uh, on ship stream because it's, ship stream is a uh, you can say an app where you can sign up and whenever you uh, do some coding stuff so you can uh, they will create a post for you and it gives you some kind of a ranking based on your uh, based on like I don't know like what factor they, they count um, but um, I think they count the shipping rank something like this that how many times you get live or how many viewers do you have okay so it looks good yeah uh, I can also add mention code correct let me add a description oh, vs code okay vs code extension for maker log tweet perfect it looks nice not bad yeah so you guys like I, I just like I to, uh, told you about ship stream earlier so it's the same that whenever I go live and I do some coding stuff uh, then uh, uh, on uh, like they show uh, my uh, live stream on their page uh, on my profile page also and on their home page also and they also tweet about the people who are doing live stream so uh, there are a bunch of benefits that it uh, it gives a buzz to the people that uh, that this guy or this person is doing a live stream so you should uh, watch his live stream and few other stuffs uh, like i can just show you my profile I think I should also send them a request that, uh, that the people can watch the live stream if they are on their profile page. Okay, yeah. So this is what I was talking about. Yeah. So yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. So our extension is live and what else? Yeah, we have had mentioned uh, Sergio Matty also. We have created a tweet. Uh, the source code is live and the repository is over here. Yeah, okay, now I just need to add this part because it is still work in progress. Uh, I also need uh, I also need uh, a way to make the web private because currently uh, I'll just tell you just a second like what is the problem with the current scenario okay so the current scenario is that uh, that the user can uh, save their uh, web book in their settings uh, so whenever i just maybe go to my settings since i have installed that extension okay okay so like you can uh, save your extension over here uh, sorry not the extension uh, your uh, web book string uh, the web book url so you can generate your web book url using uh, by going to this uh, this URL so you can from there you can generate a webhook URL you, the webhook URL will be unique and private and it should be private 
it shouldn't be public so that's why i haven't added some kind of an authentication because the webhook is uh, private and uh, because uh, it, it assumes that uh, the source from where the request is coming or the post request is coming is authentic and safe and uh, you can say trusted so that's why uh, so uh, so the current the the current way uh, I'm doing is uh, not very, uh, you can say, a good way. I'm just uh, pasting the webhook URL over here. And since if you're using sync setting, uh, it's another another VS Code extension where uh, all your settings, snippets, uh, all the custom settings of VS Code is uh, saved online in a GitHub gist. So if you're using that, it's definitely not a good option to uh, use this way. So I will definitely uh, work on that part to save the webhook in a separate private file i will just add a, a to do over here oh no not a to do it will be a fix me because it's an important and uh, so it will be um, i think i cannot add over here yeah but that's fine yeah uh, so what should be the the message make webhook url private yeah something like this okay So you can see there are a lot of other to-dos over here and I just shipped those to-dos with uh, along with the code itself and the code is not even optimized properly well still the extension is in preview uh, so it does make sense okay so that tweet is still alive let me just share the tweet on the discord Uh, I also want to add about the about this uh, GitLab CLCI about the status also. So I don't know how to add that. Okay, so I need to uh, drop. Uh, message in uh, in uh, my discord server also so you can definitely you should definitely join my discord server the link is in the stream itself you can see at the bottom left corner you can just visit that URL and join the discord server okay where else i also don't want to be just too spammy i will just share the my tweet to the relevant server only yeah over here also where it is yeah
ओके सो वी हैव शेयर्ड द मैसेज ऑन द ट्विटर आल्सो ऑन द डिस्कॉर्ड एंड द ट्विटर आल्सो या आई वाज ट्राइंग टू ऐड दिस द पाइपलाइन थिंगी Uh, I think I can just link to the pipeline itself. That can work. Uh, GitHub Edges. It did. It failed. That's weird. Why did the pipeline failed? Okay, so one of the job did failed. Okay, so while testing it, makes sense. Downloading VS Code into so it is downloading VS Code. Hmm. So it is possible that the script uh, which I wrote over there, well. Technically, I didn't wrote it; it was already there. So the problem might be in the script only. Wow, security vulnerabilities. That's too much. Now I can just link to the pipeline itself. Yeah, that can work. I can also link it to my Git Discord also, since uh, GitLab has recent integration with Discord. I mean the native integration. Uh, but uh, since the integration is just with the badges on uh, with the webhook only, but still it is more tailored with the uh, with GitLab uh, payload. So it it gives us benefits. Okay. Um, project path. We might need uh, issue tracking. Yeah, we also need issue tracking. We also need license. Okay, so let me do the license first of all. Uh, since the license is just MIT. Uh, it is GitHub, not GitLab. It is not even suggested suggesting any patches also. Uh, so it should be like GitLab. Okay, so here it is. So build passing. Yeah, we need this. Um, GitLab. Uh, pipeline user uh, user is code carrot and the so is it the repository ID or the the name itself? I can try with project ID. Okay, not found.
okay yeah it worked i mean the badge did work uh, the pipelines i still need to fix the pipeline uh, i also need to add the this guy doesn't know how to drive okay so yeah i need to add the version over here release i can just link it to the project this way it can work okay user is code carried and the repository uh, and this is gitlab and the repository is maker log vs code it is not working so something is wrong with the image path itself pipeline so i think re releases doesn't support gitlab i mean the shield this here that is the only possible reason we can try a rating yeah we have the option for rating also we need to add the extension id okay here is the extension id and link to the rating we can add <coughs> uh, platform we don't need to add that uh, size chart analysis okay that's fine well, the rest of the badges we can add later on it is not that important Okay, so let me just uh, generate uh, a new web book for my I mean for my personal use still the download is one come on guys you should download this extension I can still see the download to just one and that is just me who has downloaded the extension so come on guys just download it I can share the link with you. yeah so people are clapping uh, like I did make this uh, post it's nice
नाइस Now, what I was trying to do, yeah, I was I need to create a web hook. Uh, I can I can create another web hook. Copy it. So you, you can guys see the process which I am following. It is the same process you need to follow when you go install the extension. I'll just create a separate video for that also. So I have got the webhook URL. I will just copy it and I will open my VS Code. So after then, uh, you need to open your settings and search for Maker Log. And you will see there is just a single setting, and then you can just press your I and mean, paste your. Uh, your webhook URL and then close it and that's it and then if you want to use the maker log extension just type maker log after pressing control shift uh, P and it will prompt with the uh, with two commands so first of all you need to uh, start with the first command uh, with the command name let's start logging which will activate the extension itself so once the extension is activated uh, so it will first show the notification that the extension is activated and then you can type any message you want to type uh, so I will type uh, uh, so what message should I type mm. okay I will type uh, shipping maker log uh, shipping uh, vs okay VS Code extension for Maker Maker Log uh, on ship streams uh, on ship stream ship stream live yeah something like this like I don't know if the this in the, this hash will uh, this uh, hash will work or not because in maker log uh, they have this feature where when we uh, uh, when we add a hash it uh, inti uh, it I, I like what what like would we say uh, it connects to the product itself so I don't know if it will work or not let's see I will also add mention the maker log and let's hit enter okay so it will prompt with the dialog box over here you need to select that you want to mark it as a done or a to do so i will uh, press done and that's it uh, now it sh you can just open the your profile page or wherever you want to check it uh, just a second guys okay so I'll just go to my profile and you can see uh, it should uh, show the to do which I've added using VS code come on where it is wow see you see there so there is the to do which I have added using VS code so the extension works perfectly uh, with no doubt and yeah perfect okay guys so yeah i think uh, all the stuff i mean the basic stuff is done for this extension uh, we have created the extension on our live stream uh, like in future also like when I will uh, maybe uh, do some bug fixing or maybe uh, improve it I'll just uh, do all the stuff on live stream so just, just don't forget to follow me on twitch uh, so that you can stay up to date with my live streams and uh, yeah as I told you I'll just uh, do all the stuff like the big bug fixing uh, feature request all the stuff uh, I will try my best to do it on the live stream and again thank you very much for sticking around with me uh, it was a fun experience just to build the extension 
Uh, even though it was my first extension I built for the first time uh, on the that, that this was my first extension you can just uh, go to my profile on the on the VS Code marketplace and you can see this is my first extension which I have built so it was just a simple basic extension and soon we will add more features to it I have just marked all those to do's on the repository itself and you can also uh, just go to the repository URL uh, it's over here and if you have any maybe a bug report or maybe a feature request you can just uh, create an issue and we will see how it goes okay guys so i will see you next time bye bye thank you for watching